Hey guys, Mix Up back for another video, and today we are taking a look at a simple program called AHK that has a lot of functions. It's very simple, but works like any other programming language. What I mean by that is it has loops and ifs and delays like you would expect. If you want to learn advanced programming, then this does not come close, but if you're getting into programming, I suggest watching to the end of this video. So... I am going to uh, run this script, which you can see looks a little scary, but it only has a few different types of commands that I am going to show um, near end of this video. So I'm going to run this, and uh, the code will be in the link in the description. And sadly, I can't show it because I have to have all my windows closed. So my Bandicam window will not work. Okay, so my computer resetted and it may take a while to start working. At most, about 10 seconds. Now let's try it. I'm opening Google Chrome here. And then I'm going to type in YouTube. And when I press E, it says, lol, you can't press E. Have fun. I pressed T before there, accidentally too. But, um, so it won't let you press E. And E is the most used letter. So, um, have, have fun. Like, and then when you want to turn it off, you just do control J. And then we can type E all we want. So, that won't remove it permanently, and the next time you restart, it'll be there. So, if you're going to do this, I'm going to include a tutorial on how to get rid of it in only two steps at the end of this video. But, now I'm going to show you how to download it. Now, I went into a virtual box to download it, since I already have it on my own PC. It's simple as... Clicking download, then pressing the rest of this stuff. Just watch me. I'm going to go into a time lapse here of me downloading it right now. Okay, so now it has launched up. And you just want to exit this. And then it's installed. And you'll be able to use it when you want. So, I'm going to show you how to make a script. So, all you do is you go, is you right click wherever you want you can do it in a file explorer wherever you want but i'm doing it on my desktop then you hover over new and then select ahk script and then you can name it whatever you want i'm naming it test for the sake of this video and then what you want to do is Right click it, then click edit script, and then you can just delete all of this stuff. Then next you want to... Now we are making a simple program, which is a hello world program. So we're going to have a message box, which is basically a box that's a message that pops up. We can leave this as it is, and when we run it, it'll say hello world. But we want to put a trigger on it. So the way to do that is just put anything before two colons and everything underneath it will be one, including other stuff, including other hotkeys, which I figured out the hard way and all my stuff was getting mixed up. So you might have to create multiple different scripts. But what I'm going to do is I want the up arrow to trigger it. So now we have the hello world. And then I want, so then when we click OK on the message box that comes up, I want it to launch a notepad and then 
And then after it launches a notepad, I want it to type hello world. Also, we want an exclamation point here. Okay, so we're going to have it... So the sleep function is basically a delay before the rest of your code, so your CPU can process it. So after... Um, so the number after it is how many milliseconds, so I put 1000 or 1 second, which would be plenty time considering the animation of the message box. And then we want it... In order to run a notepad, we need it to do windows r so we're gonna do send and then you can put a space i put a comma it's just a habit long story and then you do send and hashtag r because certain symbols like hashtag and and um plus and exclamation point are actual signals in the like for different things like exclamation point is alt and plus is shift so, if you wanted to do an actual hashtag instead of the Windows key, then you would put these bracket things around it. But in this case, I want it to be used as a Windows key. So then after we do um, Windows R, we need to have it sleep. And I normally do uh, 30 seconds for most things, so it can start running. And then we're going to use the send command to send um, notepad.exe. And then we need it to press enter, so to do that you do send, and then in, in these things, instead of having it type the word enter, you want it to do enter. So you do the bracket things and put enter in it. Then we're going to give it a delay of 30 seconds to launch up. Then after that, we're going to send what we want, which in this case is hello world. So we just type hello world and then exclamation but but guess what's wrong about that it's the fact that there's an explanation so that would do hello world then it would press alt which would do nothing so just like the hashtags to make it be a hashtag you have to put in brackets so for this we have to put the exclamation point in brackets and now all we have to do is click file save and we can exit out and if we double click our script then it should, after it loads. Okay, well, it turns out you can't um, do Windows R while Bandicam is running. So, um, you're going to have to try it yourself. Here is the code, so you can um, try it yourself if you download AHK. But I am going to show you how to turn off the can't press e prank uh permanently after this little skit i prepared for you Okay, so I showed you the semi-permanent way to make it work is to just press Control J. Then we can press E all you all we want, but that will not make it permanently. And the next time you restart, it'll be there. So to get rid of it permanently is actually very simple. All you have to do is do Windows R, it'll open up a run box, and then you do shell. You have to make sure that you have control um, J done already so that it, like, semi-permanent turns off so you can type this in. And then you just want to do shell with a colon, and then you type startup. Now that we type this, we can just press OK, and in it'll bring us to a to our startup folder, which is where the script is in. So it starts up whenever you boot the computer. So all we have to do is delete it, and then we can close out of Windows Explorer. 
and then we're good to go. So you don't have to be threatened by knives. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Have a nice day.